Hello, this is Arnold and today I'm going to create a new .NET Core 1.1 application from almost nothing using Visual Studio 2017. So what do we need? Well, obviously we need Visual Studio. So if you download it using the installer, it's important to pick, uh, where is it? Yes, the .NET Core and Docker preview workload, and it will uh, turn on some components for you to install. So you need this one. And then when you have installed it, you will also need to install the .NET Core 1.1 runtime. And you can find it by going to the microsoft.com slash net slash download slash core website. And under current, you have the .NET Core 1.1 SDK and the runtime. So what are we going to do after you install all this stuff? In Visual Studio, I'm going to create a new project. And we pick .NET Core. And I'm going to create a small dating website. Let's call it start, uh, no, not start date, start date. So dating for the stars. <laughs> so, okay. And then here, well, of course, if you're going to create a, a web application that eventually is going to production or something serious, then I would recommend, of course, using the web application template. But for the sake of uh, science or learning or education, we are going with the empty template. Hit OK. And then we get almost nothing. Let's see, it's still loading the project. OK. Um, first of all, there's almost nothing there. Only a startup.cs, program.cs and web.config. And these also contain almost nothing. I'm not even going to open them right now. Let's first check our NuGet package manager. I right click on the project, manage NuGet packages, and then under updates, we can, I mean, <laughs> Visual Studio 2017 released yesterday and I can already update all this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to select all, hit update, and it's going to add the updated packages to my project. Okay, and maybe now would be a good idea to test if it actually works. So just hit run. And there it is. So this website is working. If it isn't, then you might need to install something like the .NET Core SDK or Visual Studio component is probably missing. Uh, but it's working, so we can continue. So what do we need? Well, we can add MVC middleware to this project using NuGet. Let's manage the NuGet packages again. Uh, and I'm not sure, I think the package is called microsoft.aspnetcore.mvc. Uh, yes, it is. So I could have also used the package manager console. Let's do it right now. So I could also hit install, but this does the same thing. Just to show you. Um, okay, so it seems to have installed all this stuff. And it has, in fact, done so. Um, so the next step is to hook in the MVC middleware into our project. And we need to add it to our services and also uh, to our application startup configure method. So I open the startup.cs and the startup class. So let's see if we can actually add MVC to the services already. And we can't, it can't find it. I'm not sure why. So I'm going to close Visual Studio. Yes, I want to save everything and open it again. and reopen the project. Uh, 
and let's try again services dot add tab piece and now it's there so i'm not sure why it glitched out right now i think it might be uh, a shortcoming of the new visual studio uh, 217 but whatever it's working now so the next step of course is to add the service of mvc and then uh, in the configure method we can hook in our middleware using just app dot and what was it again use uh, mvc and uh, for simplicity we're just going to go with the default route so use mvc with default route and now we have mvc running we can eventually remove this we're not going to use it but let's just keep it and say hey uh, you are not supposed to be yeah. so this is going to handle our requests um, what are we going to do now let's just add a small controller and a view to test if this is actually working so we're going to have to add a few folders the controllers folder and a views folder and our default controller is of course supposed to be called home controller so let's add a controller with that name not sure why it's trying to go with home controller one but whatever okay so we added the controller and it has a default index method so all we need to do is add a view but we also need to create of course the home folder in here and then we can add the view uh, let's see where is it mvc view page not sure why it's going with index one again but let's rename it to index and let's just put something in here So when we open the website, the default route is going to direct us to the home controller and the index method, and it's going to send back the view template um, in the home folder, as in home controller, and the index.csh.html, as in the index method. So it's automatically, automatically going to find it. Let's see if this works. And it does, it actually returned our view, great. So that's it. Uh, that's all we needed to do to create an MVC website from scratch. So that's it for now, goodbye.